Any plans on starting an OnlyFans? You guys are gonna call me a simp, I already know this. 100,000 YouTube subscriber celebration. Uh, like, over half of them are just about these nuts. What is your ideal girlfriend? <laughs> you know, yeah, what, what was I expecting? So, who is my biggest inspiration? Okay, let me explain, let me explain. It was too on a right? <laughs> Shut up, bro! <laughs> are you gay? Welcome back, everybody. Oh my god, my hair is messed up. Today is our 100,000 YouTube subscriber celebration. I swear, like, on my Saturday stream, I was thanking you guys for 95k. We hit 95k on YouTube! And now we are sitting at a solid 140,000, I think. But yeah, today I had a little something special planned. Uh, since we hit 100k on YouTube, and you know, I'm sure a lot of people here are new to my Twitch channel. Like, I put up this Twitter Q&A, and I had like a bunch of people ask me questions. We look at these questions. Um, you will, you will, you will find out that uh, like over half of them are just about these nuts. I I don't know if I'll be able to go through all of these. <laughs> Literally, what is wrong with you people? Why are all of these questions just about? <laughs> Let's try to get through some of these Twitter Q and A's. I own five trees, can you please name them? <laughs> what? Why am I naming trees, bro? What's your favorite Twitch stream moment? I actually don't remember a lot of my Twitch streams. Um, you know, when I get slandered on stream, I like to just erase everything from my memory, um, you know, suppress the dark thoughts that I have um, and the unfortunate incidents on stream. Favorite Twitch stream moment though? Uh, I think the cooking stream was pretty good. <laughs> I, I enjoyed the cooking stream. It's not brown. It's purple. <laughs> Levi Wop, um, unfortunately not. Uh, no. From the top, make it Serious question. Did you really climb all the way up there for a video? <laughs> if we if we take a look over here, um, that is actually the infamous closet. I did in fact climb on there for a video. I mean, if you really want to know how I did it, <laughs> like all you gotta do is just. Is this dusty? Oh god, I don't really want to go up here. Yeah, it's, 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 it's just like this. Um, why am I up here? Hi, I'd like to ask you, who is your biggest inspiration that motivates you every day to do better? Also, congratulations on reaching 100k. You deserve it, bestie. I'm looking forward to more of your content. So, who is my biggest inspiration? I actually have this list here. A while back, I watched Lud Ludwig's video on uh, how to become a great streamer. And he said, you need to have a list of people who you want to be like. So, uh... <laughs> So I have all of my goals written down here. I have my long-term goals, my yearly goals, and then people I want to be like, you know, my role models as Twitch streamers, <laughs> dude. <clears throat> my goals were, I want to average 1,000 viewers on Twitch, concurrent viewers on Twitch. I want to be a successful YouTuber with over 100,000 subscribers. Yo, so we can check that one off the list. Wait, that's actually crazy. And then <laughs> I want to be like, you guys are gonna call me a simp. I already know this. I want to be like. <laughs> it was two on a. Congrats. <laughs> Shut up, way. bro. <laughs> it was. I want to be like Newt, Tens, Tuanto, Best Dressed, and Thirty Nine Daff. Those are my role models right there for my content creation. Okay, let me explain. Let me explain before you guys before you guys call me a simp. So Newt, he has great YouTube content. He had been like you know pumping out YouTube content when he like moved to LA and stuff. I liked his style of videos, uh, his like you know humor, his uh, fashion sense. Like I liked his YouTube channel. Okay, that's it's it's a role model. It's a role model. Okay, Tens, he is an amazing streamer. He is great at Valorant. His YouTube videos do super well. He's popping off on social media. He was the role model. Tuanto, I liked his streams. I liked his vibes. I thought he was a cool guy. I wanted to be friends with him. Okay. No, I liked his YouTube content. I wanted to be as successful as he is right now. So there's nothing wrong with that. It's just someone who I appreciated his content. I looked up to his content and that does not make me a simp. Okay, you guys, y'all y'all gotta stop this. Best Dressed, I don't know if you guys know who Best Dressed is. She is, she has this YouTube channel with like over 3 million subscribers or something. I love her aesthetic. I binged all her videos. Uh, I'm subscribed to her. <laughs> and 
and yeah i just i just really liked how she you know her whole vibe and how she was like super successful and independent and then 39 daf uh that's actually where my drawing streams came from yeah she just like draws on stream and then she just like chills and plays games and has like a super great community so uh that's just something i wanted to emulate and nothing wrong with that uh you know we can all have our role models you see like i don't call you guys simps for like you know saying levi step on me or something yeah, you gotta think, you gotta think, how can I attract viewers? What is content for me? And you know, I think I've come to realize that content for me is just getting bullied on stream. So uh, I've fallen into my own niche and I'm like, you know, extremely satisfied that, you know, I've, I've found something I'm passionate about. So yeah, maybe, maybe one day I will be one of your role models and you guys will want to get bullied on stream too. Actually, I think I wrote a note to myself like a year ago. Should I try to find it? I think it's like a sealed letter. You know those things like people do where they like uh, put a note for themselves and then like they seal it and then like they open it like a year later. Okay, let me let me try to find it. <laughs> I think it's over here. Oh, this one right here. Okay. I actually don't really remember what I put in this. Kind of scared. All right, what is this? <laughs> All right, tell me what it says first. What does it say? Is it bad? You know, I should I should have I should have known. I wrote this letter. Of course, of course there wouldn't be anything good in here, bro. So, um if you did not see already, there is a giant troll face on this. Yeah, um, and it says, Did you actually think there was gonna be something in here? LOL. <laughs> Congrats on 1 million followers on TikTok. Anthony, 9-9-2020. You know, yeah, what, what was I expecting? Some sort of like, you know, sentimental, heartfelt, congratulatory letter to myself from the past. Nah, Anthony from nine months ago put a troll face on this letter, bro. Any plans on starting an OnlyFans? I can, I can answer this one for you right now. <clears throat> what is your ideal girlfriend? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I think I've answered this actually a lot of times on stream already, but if you guys are really still interested, um... Who said Tuanto, bro? Oh my god, please stop. I'll just pull up a picture for you guys, okay? There is a picture of my girlfriend and I on social media, okay? We can finally set settle this once and for all. Please stop asking me. I've answered this several times, okay? So, uh, countdown, three, two... One. If you could, which character would you want to be in Jujutsu Kaisen and why? I think we have clearly settled that I am the best Gojo cosplayer there is out there. Um, I, you know what? Actually, um, the other day my mom sent me these pictures. <laughs> So apparently someone uh, edited some of my uh, stream pictures. Look at this. It's actually not bad, isn't it? Look, it's actually not bad. Look, look. And then there's more, there's more. <laughs> what is... Oh my god, and this one too. Look, I am literally coach. <laughs> I don't know who edit I don't know who edited these, but whoever did that, shout out to you. Um, you made my incredible Gojo cosplay look even more realistic. I am I'm literally him. Are you gonna make some kind of vlog video for YouTube? I'm gonna be honest, I sit at my desk and study for like a lot of hours every day. Um, and then I play video games for the rest of my day. If I were to do a vlog, this this is what my vlogs would look like. <clears throat> Is that the vlog content that you guys wanted? Like, you guys really want to see me vlog that and just post this like every single- If you're saying yes in chat, what what is what is wrong with you right now, okay? Can you please show us pictures of your turtles? I don't have a picture. It's on my TikTok though, if you really want to go there. Oh lord. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Samsung! I- not. Nah.
yeah that, that that is what one of my turtles looks like what was on your mind when you made that so if you guys know josh yang on tiktok used to post these videos about like k-dramas and stuff and they would be like like this So yeah, um, he would post videos like that. <laughs> I was watching a few K-dramas at the time and I thought like these were really funny. So I wanted to make one with my turtles um, just like as a random content idea. And yeah, so that's what I made and that's what I posted. <sighs> Favorite photo of yourself. Should I just choose from my Instagram? I actually not nah, this one right here. Me and my uh, me and my waifu right here. Yeah, this is this is this is my favorite photo of all time. <laughs> oh my god. Let me tell you how this photo came to be. It was first semester and I was walking with some of my friends and then there was just this like big ass tree on the side of the road and I was like, I don't know why, but I was just thinking to myself like, yo, this would make a fire picture. So uh, my friends, uh, they have watched Attack on Titan, but like they didn't really follow my social media or like my TikTok and stuff. So I just asked them, <laughs> hey bro, you, you want to take a picture of me with this tree? <laughs> And uh, he was like, yeah, sure. And I got on the tree and there you have it. The picture, the famous picture right here. Was it awkward? Um, yeah, a little bit, not gonna lie. Kind of, kind of awkward. Except anime, do you like K-pop, K-dramas in general? Uh, yeah, I do, I do. Um, yeah, I listen to uh, some K-pop groups uh, and I have watched quite a few K-dramas, so. Okay, uh, it's mainly Blackpink, okay, Blackpink. <laughs> I'm sorry. Their songs are like kind of nice, like when you're working out. And I think my favorite K drama would be Itaewon Class. I like that one. The OSTs were great. What motivated you to stream on Twitch? Uh, it was probably actually I think it has to be Anson. Yeah. Um, he popped in the chat earlier, but he was one of the reasons I started streaming on Twitch because I saw his Minecraft clips on TikTok, where he would just like stream on Twitch and then post those clips to TikTok. And it was like getting some good traction. And I thought like, you know, I much prefer making live content than, you know, trying to come up with video ideas for TikTok, which I don't really like doing. So yeah, I figured I would make the switch to Twitch. Um, I got some of my creator friends and we were like, okay, we're gonna make this plan. We're gonna make a TikTok streaming group. That TikTok streaming group actually never happened. Um, the only person who streams with me on Twitch now is Andrew from that group. So uh, yeah, it could have been, could have been something big. Fortunately, it never took off, but yeah, I, I would say that is one of the main reasons I started streaming on Twitch, just cause I didn't, I didn't want to be on TikTok anymore. So most cursed anime you've watched oh god is this really something i want to answer um i have not watched boku no pico unfortunately no okay i think the weirdest one i've ever watched was when i was like picking up anime again like over the summer last summer that is uh during quarantine i came across this one that was called ero manga sensei <laughs> and let me tell you this freaking anime bro so i was just getting back into anime i think at that point i watched um naruto kuroko no basket i just finished demon slayer i think i was midway through attack on titan but this was like still when i was getting back into anime so it'd been a few years since i've watched anime and i was like you know picking up new stuff right so i came across ero manga sensei I thought this was just like a normal slice of life anime, right? Cause I had watched Bunny Girl Senpai, I had watched um, Hyoka. But yeah, I had been watching all of those slice of life animes. I came across Ero Manga Sensei and I was like, oh, this must be another slice of life anime, right? No, no, wrong. I just remember like I was watching it and through like four episodes, I was like, this premise is kind of weird. And then it wasn't until like I got 11 episodes deep or something like that, where I was like, yo, this is not a normal anime. This is is a dumpster fire don't i do not suggest watching it okay the genre is a rom-com so <laughs> it's basically about this um this boy who is a light novel writer and he is working with this artist who does like illustrations for him turns out um the artist that he's working with which he did not know was his little sister there was something about like in the hots for I, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it was it was kind of disgusting and it took me a few episodes to realize that I actually did not finish it. <laughs> yeah, that is the weirdest thing I ever stumbled across. The ending was worse. I don't even want to know, bro. It's getting a season two. <laughs> 
Final question. Are you gay? Uh, no. Sorry, I guess? Wow, you guys had some pretty interesting questions. Very, very, very interesting. Once again though, thank you all so much for 100k on YouTube. Growth has been crazy. Appreciate all of your support. If you guys are watching on YouTube, please join us on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Anthony Chen. We have a good time here. Thank you all so much for all the support. Appreciate every single one of you. Love you guys a lot. Stay safe. Hope you all have a good one. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. We still got, we still got something to open here. Did you guys forget? We still got something to open. Also, I'm um, gonna be gonna be rolling for Eula in a second too, so.